Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Perry and I give you tips and tricks on how to build your brand and bring your business into motion. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create a good YouTube video. Many of us get overwhelmed and just by the thought of doing a video, it's not scary and I can get you through it. I've created a video in the past to help you uh, become feel natural in front of the camera on video. And I will link that above and below so that you can check them out. So hopefully that can help you get started with your channel. Creating a good YouTube video doesn't have to be complicated. It's about the valuable content that you're bringing to the table. If you want to see value, you want to want to gain some value from this content that you're sharing. So whenever you go into the video, have that in mind at first. Then you can expand from your videos what you want to do. So create valuable content so that people will stay and watch your videos. So there are five tips that I'm gonna share with you today and keep watching to the very end because the last tip is the most important one. So the first tip that I'm gonna to give to you is lighting. Now, lighting is one of those top things that I look for in a video. If it's distracting, if the light is blown out, overexposed, or if it's super dark, I tend to kind of, I don't know, just from my creative point of view, I get a little like uh, distracted and I just kind of turn off. So those people that have good lighting, it helps. It does help. Uh, yeah, they're probably going to bring great value to, you know, the table. But I, I also have that in my mind, and some people are like that. So it's great to try and make it the, the situation um, a little bit better when it comes to the video. Now, if you don't have the best equipment, don't worry. I got you covered. It's called daylight. Get a window, sit in front of it, and just get the light on your face. Now, if it's too bright, like I said, go a little bit further away. So just test it out, see which, where is the best spot for you to uh, film your videos. Now, if you have the option, you can diffuse. Like one of my, my biggest window in this room has another curtain that lets light through, but it's just a way to diffuse the light a little bit better so it's not as strong on my face. So there's options there. Now, if you don't have the greatest equipment and you don't have a, a daylight option, then you get a lamp. Uh, a lamp is the best, what are the, I, that's what I used in the beginning. I used a lamp and I put a little bit of wax paper over to diffuse the light and that's what I used in the beginning. It's, it's crazy what you can do with just a little bit of equipment. So the second thing that I'm gonna suggest to you is audio. Audio is important. Uh, you want to make sure that the audio isn't too pitchy or it's too low. And it also comes down to your equipment as well. So if you don't have the best equipment, just use what you got. That's what I say every time. But if you have the ability to upgrade, if you have a little extra cash, just upgrade a little bit every time you go along. For example, I have a Rode mic attached to my camera and it points directly at me. It gives me a little bit better sound. That was great in the beginning. Then I upgraded to a recorder. I have a recorder that I use for my client shoots and it records the sound internally and then I can sync it in post and it gets me even better sound. So it's just about you <laughs> figuring it out. The other thing is if you can't afford audio, just use what you got, make the situation a little bit better, less echoes in the background, less noise in the background, less noise as possible so that it's not distracting to the audience. Number three, scripting. Scripting is actually really important for your videos. To have a good YouTube video, you need to look like you're organized. You need to look like you know what you're talking about. So scripting out your videos, each video is uh, an important aspect. So make sure you sit down, write out the topic, then within that, figure out what you wanna say and just have it in bullet points and it's organized and it's in order for you so that you're not all over the place within your video. Now it looks organized on camera. Sometimes I still stutter and sometimes I get confused, but that's what it's there for. It's there for me to look and see what's my next point. What's what I want to say. It helps to also organize whenever going into editing. It just makes those sections that you need to edit a little bit easier. So tip number four is editing and uploading. So editing in the beginning is not super important. You don't have to have the best software out there. Use what you got. A lot of laptops and a lot of uh, computers have editing software now for free. So use what you've got and don't make it too complicated for you because if you're not interested in editing, uh, you don't want to stress yourself out about this editing side of things. 
So just edit it the best that you can in the beginning. And then once you get going, try and up, increase it, make it better, change it up. Just do it the best of your abilities. Now, when it comes to uploading, have a specific time you want to upload. This goes back to many of my videos that I say, be consistent, have a specific time. For me, it's Wednesday at 12. And this is just a great way for you to have a goal and to look organized and to see that you're actually active and there for the audience. Tip number five, this is the most important one, and get ready for it, it's enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself whenever you're doing the videos. Look like you're in, actually excited to share the video with people. No amount of editing can make you the person that you are in this video. Your personality, who you are, is gonna come out with every video that you do. Find it, do it, and just go for it. Making good YouTube videos is not hard. Making YouTube videos in general is not hard. It comes down to you sitting and wanting to do the work. The work is the most important part. And getting overwhelmed by doing a video every single time, it, it's not, you, you will not be able to keep up with it. So making a good YouTube video, it comes down to you enjoying it and knowing your content. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with my videos. I have tons of videos coming in the future and hopefully I'll be able to up the videos to one to two videos a week. And as always guys, don't forget to create adventure and live to inspire. Have a good one.